Hey folks, Reef Gilg here back for our weekly uh, newscast information update, kind of what's going on at uh, East Noble High School here. The season's winding down for a lot of things, so we're going to be a little bit narrow on that or a little bit light on some results. But we're going to look forward to some things that are in the future, so uh, we will be a little bit quicker today. I want to start out talk about last Friday night's football game. The Knights went in uh, and took care of business. It was a very business-like performance at Belmont. Uh, the final conference game and the final regular season game of the year. Uh, Knights went in there, won 51 to 10, with a very, very strong uh, second, third, and fourth quarters, uh, and looked very, very good doing it. And now we can finally talk about sectional, which we will toward the end of our broadcast here tonight. But congratulations on a tremendous 7-2 and two year. Just a very, very good football year for all involved. Uh, they made us very proud, and you need to come and watch these kids play. Cross Country finished up their year at a regional. They were a regional at West Noble. Um, I've got some, some places for you. We'll go with the boys first. The boys finished eighth uh, at the regional. Uh, we had Jonathan Kane, who finished 38th place. This was out of 110 runners. Joe Vandiver was 41st. Uh, Tyler Klinger was 53rd. Matt Klein was 64th. Francisco Herrera was 68th. Braven Levine was 74th. And Philip Fine was 77. So great job, boys. Uh, finishing eighth again as a team. Very, very strong individual times there. We've got a very young team, so a lot of very good things to look forward to there. Uh, on the ladies' side, our girls finished ninth overall. Some places we have there. Alexia Zawadzki was 19th. Cheryl Morris finished 25th. Courtney Castleman was 32nd. Kara McLaughlin finished 44th. Uh, Michaela Corbin finished 67th, Jordan Crock 68th, and Kendall Hess finished 71st. So again, both boys and girls cross country, congratulations on a very, very strong year. Um, a lot of things to look forward to there, but just a really nice job by our men and ladies in the cross country uh, realm there. Um, just a couple other things. We had freshman football on Monday night, um, and freshmen ended up uh, they got beat. Let me find my score there. Uh, ended up 13 to 19. Uh, we're down 19 nothing. Battled back. Uh, really did a good job, but we're not not able to win that game. So our freshmen have finished up. Our JV have finished up. So we are just uh, waiting on varsity. I uh, want to give a quick shout out to our marching band, Mr. Munoz's crew qualified for the semi-state at regionals this last week. They have a regular competition at Danville this week. Uh, and then they, they travel um, to Pike High School for the semi-state um, a week from this Saturday. So great job, band. They really are tremendous. They do a terrific job. Uh, you know, and, and the work that they put in and the things that I've seen them do, it's, it's amazing. They do a great job. If you get a chance, uh, you know, not just watching them at the games, if you're at games, uh, but actually watch and go to some of their performances, you will not be disappointed um, at all. So what do we got going on? Okay, Wednesday night as we're taping this, um, as soon as this game, as soon as this is done, our school day, I'm traveling to Northrop High School in Fort Wayne. Uh, our volleyball team takes on Northside High School tonight, uh, beginning probably around 7:30. They they have the second game, first game's at six, so we're not exactly sure when it will start. I would guess right around 7:30. Uh, our ladies are are motivated. They're ready to go. So. Hopefully next week we come back and we talk about continued success um, of our ladies' volleyball team. Other thing we need to talk about, we've got a home sectional football game this Friday against Concord. Okay, uh, Concord and East Noble both have 7-2 and two records. They're very, very similar in the way that they play. Uh, Concord has uh, two and probably three Division I type kids. Um, and we have East Noble kids, and I'll take that any, any day of the week. Um, we need people to come out. The tickets are a little bit different. Your season passes don't get you in. Your faculty or student passes don't get you in. Tickets are $6, but we need that home field advantage. Um, so find a way to come out. Find a way to support our kids. It's the marquee game in this area. There'll be a lot of media attention focused on this and should be just a really neat environment. So come out and, and uh, support our Knights, obviously, for that. And just like uh, we said with the volleyball, make sure that, um, or I hope that we come back next week and we're talking about um, continuing on our seasons.
Okay, and also uh, make sure to watch to watch my emails. We're actually going to be on Kendallville TV here. Uh, they're going to be s streaming this game live on Friday night. So if you cannot make it, uh, you can tune in on online here um, and catch our game. It sounds like Fred Inniger is going to be doing the uh, the play by play there. So um, it's a chance to if if you can't make it anywhere you're at, anywhere that has internet, you can come and pick up our game. So. Okay, and you can watch it later. It will be posted on here also. So uh, so good luck to all the teams. Hopefully you can either be at the game or, like we said, catch it here online, either live or afterwards. It will be posted there um, so you can catch up on all the action. So uh, have a great week. Go Knights.